Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. Yesterday, we began construction. I'm, I was going to say of the glorious palace, but in hindsight, it's just of a big shed, really. We began building a big shed for Elrang, Galadriel, and Shittle the, to, so Shittle the Brave to live their lives while they build up and try and take back the kingdom that is rightfully theirs. So yesterday, I also asked, what the hell are we going to name them as well? Because I really didn't have any idea. And the suggestions were honestly gold. So our faction, the Landburn Exiles, I like that suggestion because it fits into the overall RimWorld world and it's a bit more of a serious suggestion. I like having that duality there, but it, it, those are the people we're trying to defeat. Is the, the And, and the, the suggestion actually said change it to Landburn Kingdom when we take the kingdom. So I thought that was a really cool idea when we destroy the, the false pretenders. Then for the, uh, the, the community, this settlement in particular is absolutely fantastic. Shittles Creek. Um, as in up Shittles Creek. This is fantastic. That is that is a 10 out of 10 name right there. I'm really, really happy with that one. So then, speaking of, uh, speaking of oh Shittle, we actually are in the middle of a raid right now. We've got Keytris and Yingalor, two enemy elves from the Empire of Din Hiram, which I think are the wood elves, aren't they? Coming to try and kill us uh, and take our glorious shed. They will never take the shed. You will never get this. Let's send Elrang, Gally, and Shittle. We'll get them to defensive positions. I do want to take one of these as prisoner. W one of them was actually pretty good, weren't they? Was that... Uh, uh, yeah, Yingalore has high melee, high crafting, uh, high passion in construction, which isn't too relevant, but the crafting alone is going to be pretty good. Actually, they're both pretty good. On average, you know, she's got okay mining, good plants there. Um, if we take either as a prisoner, I'm happy to recruit either. Oh my god, we actually did get a prisoner yesterday, didn't we? I completely forgot about that. Miyamura, who is very, very good. Good mining, so we could have uh, work in the great caves of our new realm. Like I said, I'm not going to build a mountain base, but I'm going to. I'm, I'm more than happy to strip mine out the whole mountain. What we want to do for this early settlement is build some clubs. You know, some some very basic wooden clubs so we can blackjack people, drag them back to the prison, um, and and try and recruit people early on. Because three people is good. We don't want Galley Drill for on, on the front line for too long. Same with Elrang. He's a bit more of an artillery character it's down to basically sir shittle the brave to uh, to to deflect any enemies you know to, to actually get into that melee range so you gotta be very careful about how we handle this shittle what is your what is your weapon get your bow equipped uh galley drill let's also get her bow equipped and then our rank just has his fire magic i don't really want to use the fire magic although if it just does burn damage we might be able to knock them down and take them prisoner without actually killing them so this will be this will be a test where is our rank um oh my god he's outside the walls <gasps> um okay what are they what are they gonna do then? Let's just see what happens here. Uh Yingalore is going for Elrang while Keytris is going for Shittle and Galley. Okay, that works fine. Um let's let's get out of there a little bit. Let's get some distance. You know what? Why don't we just fire him dead? Why don't we just fire him dead? Don't don't kill him though. Completely missed. What a massive whiff. Was that a little bit loud as well? That's fucking deafening for me. Turn it down a little bit so our rank doesn't blow up my ears every episode. Okay, um, that's a problem. So we're going to have to see if we can give this guy a wide berth and try and... Uh, oh, it looks as if... Oh, I thought he was on fire then, but it's actually just the smoke left over. Um, why is he moving so much faster than our rank? Is that like a wood elf thing? Uh, do, our, uh, do wood elves just move? Yeah, he is absolutely... Oh, the armor he's got. The, he's, he's wearing a hawk berth, for Christ's sake. I have to be very careful. How are you two doing? Um... Just complete whiffs all around here. I'm going to let Elrang fist fight the other guy. Oh, a nice hit. Good work. Uh, how are we doing back here, then? We could use Ray of Hope. Because that makes him move slightly faster. Is he going to be able to... Come on. Cast, 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 cast. Okay, nice. So that should allow him to move slightly faster. Um, moving plus 10%. Let's see if that's enough to let him get out of there. Run. I mean, if you get into a fist fight with a guy wearing a full set of armor, chances are you're not going to come away from that one. How are we doing? Uh, Shittle and Galley are in melee, which is probably for the best thing, as we do want to knock her down. Hey, there we go. That actually works really well. The other guy was the one we wanted to take prisoner, which is a little bit... Oh, shit. Right, we need to put down another sleeping spot. The other one was... The, the other guy was the one we actually wanted to take prisoner, so we'll still try and take him as well. Uh, actually, you know what? Shittle, you capture her. We'll send Galley. Give a... Give... No, we will stick to the bow. Um, just to go and see if we can pick this guy off before he escapes. Elrang, don't let him leave. I was going to say we'll drag him back because he has got a knife, so we do need to be a little bit careful about this, but why don't we go for it? Now that he's fleeing, we might just be able to uh, might be able to sweep the legs, take him home. Come on. Parried. Damn, that stunned him quite heavily. That's obviously combat extended features. Um, could go for another fire claw. Nothing. Damn it. We almost we almost made that turkey, though. Go. Ooh, a good shot there from Galley. Let's get her a bit closer. I think I, I'm going to try and get this guy. I have, I have high hopes here. Come on. Keep running. Never stop. R by the way, running as you shoot is obviously incredibly inaccurate, so it'd probably be better uh, if we sort of stand her here and just let her get in a couple of accurate shots. Don't let him escape. Oh, come on. One more shot. That was so, so unlucky because that was absolutely going to hit him. 
Oh my god, that was really, really unfortunate. Elrang needs uh, a melee weapon as a sidearm or something. I think they all do. Like, that's why I said we'll, we'll make some wooden clubs here. But hey, two recruits potentially already is uh, is quite nice. She needs to be patched up. Is it is it particularly bad? Just a few minor cuts there to the torso, right arm. Uh, sorry, left arm and right shoulder is, is nothing to worry about whatsoever. Let's get you recruited as soon as possible. Let's do that to the other one as well. We'll build them some beds. We'll make the prison a little bit nicer because right now it's, a, it's just a complete dump, to be honest with you. Right, let's get these guys patched up. You're gonna patch up the prisoner first, that's fine, because I think Shittle... Yeah, Shittle is just bruised, so it doesn't need the urgent tending like uh, like the others do. Alrang, you okay as well? Did you self-tend there? He has, and now we've got bed rest. That's fine, I'm completely okay with that. And I'm also gonna leave Ray of Hope turned on, so it, it uses up, like, a massive amount of his mana pool, as you can see there, he's got a maximum of, like, 60 mana now. But the, the passive bonuses are so good, given that his spells also have such a long cooldown, it's actually not too bad. So we've got a point available here, and we can try and level him up. Um... I mean, just the passive bonus from Ray of Hope seems really good to me. Reduces the mana cost as well by 8% per level. Um, seeing as we don't really have many other spells that we use that mana for right now, I'm going to level up the base Ray of Hope there. So I think that increased his manipulation by another 5%, which is quite nice. We'll get that up to the maximum level. Then we'll go for efficiency as well. Then we'll start going for some of the fireballs. I think we'll build like a firm foundation, particularly as during this early stage. We don't need to worry so much about the, uh, about the combat. You know, it's just going to be a few a few people here and there. It's, it's just like a couple of raiders with knives. Right now, we don't need to worry about these super high-end spells. So I think we can afford to... This is the best time to do Ray of Hope, I think. Shittle, you can sleep, my friend. I guess I guess because he's had all that bed rest where he was injured. Okay, so that's going to provide enough wood to probably finish this one off as well. I'm going to turn this area into a stockpile. I know it's a bit dangerous having the stockpile right next to uh, a sort of vulnerable area, especially when we're already building out of wood. But right now, it's just sort of strewn across the place. So we'll, we'll move it into somewhere a bit more convenient for the time being. That's okay. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. Geothermal vent. I don't think we can do anything with that at all. I don't, I don't think there's any practical... We could, we could heat a room during the winter. Actually... Weirdly enough, that's not such a bad plan, because of course we don't have any heating besides, like, I guess, campfires to some extent. That just works as passive heating for, like, we could build a sauna. We could build shittle, shitty sauna. Probably wouldn't sell very many, uh, probably wouldn't get many visitors doing that, though. But, I mean, that's, that's actually not a terrible plan, like a cold snap especially. If we're in the winter as well and all the trees have died or there's, there's very little wood, this could be a lifesaver. I didn't even consider it at the time. Right, let's remove the stockpile there and we'll, we'll drag all the stuff up to this top area. And I'll let shittle go and cut down a load more trees. Chittle, no. An insulting spirit. He's fixated his rage on Gally. He will follow Gally around, speaking all sorts of horrible, dirty little goblin. Oh, he immediately stopped. What did he say? Um, I don't think he did anything. Chittle spoke about Pamukkin with Elrang. Chittle shared a word about donkeys with Elrang, and that's it. Oh, so she wasn't offended at all. I guess he just gave up because he's quite far away. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, steel burns. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop that, stop that, stop that. Of course, steel burns. It's Rimworld. What am I talking about? Okay, we better go and cancel that very briefly. I I need to play with the... Oh, cancel it. Is me trying to cancel fire? Um, go ahead and deal with that, because we might want to grab this steel. Please run, because mine is going to be kind of a pain in the ass right now. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's frustrating. I completely forgot about metal burning in Rimworld. So we'll have to build everything out of stone, then, even if we do have a shitload of steel, just in case our end goes on, uh, goes on a bit of a spree. Oh, Gally has grown stronger and ready to develop a combat skill. What does that mean? So she's a... I didn't really explain it too well yesterday, but she's a Wayfarer. And all mages have access to a shared spell pool, whether you are a, a Necromancer, or a Fire Mage, a Lightning Mage, a Paladin. You all have the same basic spells, which are like Heal, Teleport, um, just sort of generic, boring mage spells. Now, her class, the, the Wayfarer, I didn't want us to be too overpowerful starting, so, so I, I sort of uh, gave her a, a very basic class that's designed for the long play. And that's what the Wayfarer is. It can learn all of those cantrips, the, the basic spells like Heal, Teleport, but she can learn them to a slightly higher degree than a regular mage. So whereas Elrang as a fire mage might only get medium heal, she could potentially get great heal or something like that. So what, what can we exactly level up with her right now then? Um, Wayfarer, we can get enhancement. Ability power plus 1%, ability resistance plus 2%. Ability cost minus 1%, XP gain plus 2%. That seems like a pretty good early one. So these all affect the, the abilities that we can teach her later on. So lower the cooldown quite significantly. I don't know that one's called Senpai. Um, I guess we, we will go with Senpai, though, for the for the XP gain. We've got Lethality. Um, so those are all of the various, I guess, generic abilities she can learn. We've got Balance. Uh, decrease the max SP upkeep cost by 3%. Oh, wow, this could be... Oh, level 15. Look at that. Wayfarer gains mana and can learn mage cantrips. That's the thing I was talking about. Right, so you actually need to level that up to maximum. So what, what, do, you, what do you mean by... I mean, why would we ever upgrade anything before that one first in that case? Heavy blow? Maybe she has some inherent abilities. Add additional utility or versatility to combat abilities. So what combat abilities has she got then? 
additional power to combat abilities. Maybe I've misunderstood this. I thought it was just like a generic mage, but it actually seems like it could be something else alongside it. Let me go and look this up very quickly. Oh, interesting. So Wayfarer, uh, this is from the uh, from the Steam page uh, posted by the devs. Excels at general abilities, but has no class abilities. So pretty much what I thought there. Uh, can teach themselves to use basic mage abilities. And oh, but there's a Wayfarer mage and there's a Wayfarer fighter. Right. Okay. Can teach themselves. Oh, but the Wayfarer mage says that it, they can use basic fighter abilities and the way for a fighter says they can use basic mage abilities so maybe they're on the same thing or maybe there is two variants where like the fighter one can learn inherent fighter abilities i think that's what we are right now i think she might be a fighting wayfarer which actually suits better seeing as a backstory as a medieval lordling and a, and a fugitive i mean fugitive and wayfarer kind of go hand in hand right i think that's better and i actually kind of like that that she is the, the the more fighting type because i thought this this bar here is like um stamina basically or, or something like that like fp or something like that so this is more for fightings. That would make a lot of sense. Um, yeah, combat training too. General combat techniques are discarded by... Okay. So she can probably learn in that case, rather than the major abilities that I was talking about, she can probably learn generic fighting abilities, which is kind of cooler in some ways. Okay. Um, mainly because we never really look at the fighting abilities. Okay, in that case, let's go for... Um, I'm going to go for this one still to start off with. The XP game plus... I mean, if we max that out, that's 60% bonus XP. So... Yeah, 60% bonus XP. So that's pretty good. That's actually a huge amount, and that will uh, obviously allow us to level up a lot quicker, and then we can try and get these abilities a bit earlier. Okay, cool. Um, Elrond, did you... Did I spend your point? Oh, but he's already quite close to leveling up again. But by the way, when they work, they actually get experience as well. Doing any sort of minor job that gives skill XP will also give them magical XP, but casting spells will also give magic. I think it actually gives much more compared to regular skills. That makes a lot of sense. We've got 23 hours before the next raid. Let's stick down a crafting spot very quickly. I also need to start lighting up some of these rooms, otherwise they get uh, work speed penalties for working in the dark. So let's put down just cra crafting spot outside in that case. Um, make cold chunks of wood. So that's used in, in various different types of smelting, in... Uh, um, in lamps as well. We can actually build braziers essentially using uh, coal as a fuel. I think it's actually more effective than than wood. So fueling something with 50 wood is a lot less effective than using just the coal chunks you make from 50 wood. Makes a lot of sense. You put a little bit of effort into uh, crafting it there. Um, I want to build a club. Can we build a, a club? Any sort of melee weapon? Make an axe. Um, club? Make club. Okay, cool. So let's make three of those so that we can try and take some prisoners. And we'll also equip them with sidearms as well. Uh... Who is our crafter? I actually can't remember in hindsight. Oh, I've, I've actually didn't set... Galley is our crafter. I actually didn't set her to crafting there. So let's get you as soon as possible. Turn us out three clubs. I think she can get three clubs done within sort of the 22 hours. Marriage is on. Holy shit. That was fast. Arang told Galley that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. Galley agreed and the two are now engaged. Oh, what a nice story. What a, what a love story. Shittle. Shittle. Heart is broken. He too truly does love Galley. But it's a, it's a terrible shameful secret. Maybe one day he'll, uh, he'll redeem himself. Oh, nice. She actually turned this out very, very quickly. Right, so let's get these. How do I equip a sidearms with combat extended? Do we just have to pick it up and put it in our inventory? Uh, yeah, we do. Look at that. Oh, very nice. Okay, cool. So let's just go and get you to pick up a club. And then you also... Uh, oh, we need to set loadouts. That's what we need to do. So what I'll do then is I'll create a loadout that has a bow, uh, say 20 arrows, and then a club as well. That way, we can automatically switch between them if we get within melee range. Um, so let's just go ahead and see if that works off with... Yeah. Oh, look at that. It works perfectly. Very nice. Seamless. Okay, so we'll set that one as a new loadout then. So let's go ahead and make loadout. Um, I don't know why it doesn't... You, you would assume when you press the make loadout button, it would take what you've already got and sort of paste it in, but I guess not. Anyway, uh, composite bow. Any drugs 55? Is it detecting... I think it's detecting arrows as drugs, which is strange because they're both added by combat extended. Uh, uh, this loadout system and the arrows. Okay, uh, so we've got composite bow yes and then any ammo for composite bow is fine should we say just like 20 i don't i can't imagine we're ever going to use more than 25 arrows let's say um and then we want a club as well come to arrows and then a meal probably couldn't hurt just take one with them uh so we'll take a fine meal okay that's pretty good no no no, not fine meal let's get this a simple meal or something like that very cool uh i'm just gonna call this club plus bow i learned very quickly last time we had combat extended that does it not let you do a plus? Evidently not. Um, I learned very quickly last time doing Combat Extended that the loadout management is actually one of the most important things we can do here. So, um, where do you change loadouts? Current loadout, there we are. Club bow, club bow, club bow. No reason they can't all have that. And then they should automatically keep that equipped. Oh, does that affect their clothes? They're not just going to, like, strip naked now because I didn't set them up armor? Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. So Shistle can't wear the, the tunic, the boots, and have a club and a ranged weapon as well. I guess the helmet he is wearing human clothes, and he's a little tiny, just filthy little disgusting goblin creature. So he's still got his uh, his helmet, though, which is quite nice. Salad helmet. Isn't, isn't a salad just a... 
Oh, it's a, it's a variant helmet. Right, got it. Okay. Uh, we've got a cloth tunic, our fox versus bended sp stripy trousers. That's that's nice. At least he's got something good going for him there. All right, pretty happy with that. And then Alrang and Gally will obviously go and equip those if they've got spare room. Actually, Alrang doesn't have a bow equipped. Do we only... Oh, I think we only turned up with two bows, didn't we? One for, one for Alrang, one for Gally. But of course, he doesn't really need a bow now that I think about it because he's got his fire magic. So that seems a bit irrelevant. Medical emergency. Shittle? <gasps> Malnutrition? You fool! Um, okay, sorry, my bad. Quickly, harvest plants. Go, 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 go. feed, feed. Cut the berry bush. No, 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 no. Drop that on the floor, you fuck. Oh my god, how have I fucked up the malnutrition? Are you okay? You should be fine. My god, that's my bad. Like, completely low food. You're dangerously low on food. Aren't we just? Bloody prisoners have eaten all my berries. Okay, um... Oh, and it's marked as that's why they weren't eating it. Because I made the, pr the, the, the place where we had all the food, it was set as a prison. So all of the, any, any food inside a prison, your people won't eat. It's reserved as prisoner food. Shit. Um, so I think if I actually try and get her reserved for prisoners, there you go. Um, apparently Aurang's just going to go grab it anyway. Oh, he's going to feed it to a prisoner. Shit. Uh, let's go ahead and go and cut those berry bushes so that we don't die horribly in a second. There we are. Shittles back upon his feet. Four hours before the next raid as well. And we are basically fully equipped. And look at that. The, the palace is basically done. Let's get some, I mean, say basically done. The structure's done. We still need to get floors in, furniture, give them all their little bedrooms and whatnot. Very nice. Very good. Okay. Um, farms? I think farms. I can't believe how much I've neglected food here. How crazy do I want to go with this growing zone? I guess we'll put it down here, just sort of out the way. Uh, what if we do something like that? It's a, it's a little bit on the large side, so I might shrink that down later on. What can we grow? Uh, willow tree. We don't really want any trees. Uh, rice? Rice seems like an okay start. What's blaze bulb? Um... Oh, yeah, use it for weapons so you can make, like, um, explosive weaponry with it. So, so little, like, handheld stick grenades, things like that. Very cool. Um, I wonder if we could just leave it around. These incendiary compounds inside these bulbs can self-ignite at temperatures above 28 degrees C. Oh, shit, that seems a bit dangerous. So if we had a heat wave, your whole farm would just explode. That's a cool concept. We're not going to do that, though. We're just going to, I think we'll stick to our, our nice and very safe. No one's ever died growing rice. D don't look that up. Okay, one hour. Let's get to position, teams. Uh, I, should, I should probably also lay this out a bit better. Maybe maybe get some rocks into better positions. In fact, why don't we do that quickly? Just so we can use these rocks as very, very basic cover, at least for slowing the enemies down and things like that as well. Right, get to work, squad. Uh, sorry, get to work, squad. Here they are. Group of elves from the Empire. Oh my god, wood elves again. Uh, three of them this time. One of them is a mage. What if uh, they've sent some heavy... They've also done with pickaxes. That's a bit, that's a bit macabre. Um, what are you then? An enchanter. Wow, you would be a very, very good recruit to this colony then so we've got an enchanter we have a guy with a pickaxe and we have a lady with a pickaxe okay um are any of them any good that's the real question because if these guys oh you are good Roferin is very good uh fa fa favory whatever is terrible favire is terrible and then this one here liab bunice is very very good so we want to try and prioritize scrutiny either of them but the enchanter for obvious reasons will be the best one to go for here i think they just self-enchanted there as well sorry i clicked away just so they started to do it where, where are they um yeah look they just enchanted something so one of their powers must be like enchant weapon or something to give them maybe slightly more damage. I vaguely remember the enchanter being able to like make jewelry and stuff, but I don't remember their offensive abilities. Right, get into position. Um, we'll, we'll hide around here. That way we can kind of get the drop on them to some extent. Catch them all as they come around in a straight line. Uh, this one, this guy we actually want to recruit, right? Rofaran, yeah, with his high melee stat, high crafting, great construction as well. Um, I'm going to send our rank down here to act as like a distraction. The other two can shoot. He says, unoptimistically. Oh, shit. Um, oh, shittle. Right, get in there. Swap to your swap to your club. I should set up the auto switch in uh, in simple sidearms. And then you can just give him hell. A oh, good hit. Incredibly good. She's she's incredibly weakened, but no permanent damage from that. Wow, nice work, Alrang. Okay, watch out for that enchanter. Galley is down. Oh, Galley is fucking down? No, 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 no. Not like this, not like this, not like this. Chittle? Uh, haul ass. Alrang, fire claw. If it hits shit, so be it. Did we just kill? We killed one of them. We didn't kill the enchanter, though, so it's not a big deal. Run, run, run. Switch to your bow. Switch to your bow. Open fire. Shit, move your ass. Okay, Alrang needs to get in there. Uh, actually, oh yeah, we're not going to be able to fire claw. We haven't got enough. Okay, let's try and knock this person down. Gally, are you okay? Blind out 19 hours. I mean, to be honest, either we're going to stop this person or we lose. So, I mean, either way, we haven't really got to worry about Galley right now. Now let's attack that one. Come on, we've got armor. They've got seemingly not This person especially has nothing. Come on, Shittle. <gasps> Shittle's downed. Elrang. It's all down to Elrang. I don't think two versus one in this situation is, is looking particularly good. 
Um, that is a nightmare scenario. Uh, Gally is also on fire. <gasps> Echidna. Echidna. Knuckles. An unmotivated wage slave of the Lamburn Exiles. <gasps> A wage... A, he also left. He heard of a mythical colony of elves. Shit. Rescue Galley. Tried to kidnap who they can and leave. Good fucking luck. Oh, they tried to kidnap Galley, I think? They've got... They've got Shittle. Knock him. Knock him down. Send him. Send him. Good work. Uh, rescue Galley. Fuck me. Rescue... Where is Galley? She's up. <gasps> oh my god. I, I honestly for a second thought we'd lost. But actually, we are fine. That was a horrible... A horrible fight. Uh, Arang's... Blind out in 15 hours. Okay, everyone's fine. Don't panic. Panic is panic is our enemy here. Rescue, rescue. Okay, no, 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 no. Rescue. There we go. Uh, tend. Are you good at medical? No, but you're the best we've got. Um, doctor, doctor. I think I'm dying. Tend. Go. Okay, which way? Who's highest priority? Uh, almost certainly Gally Drill. Uh, prioritize tending to her then. Oh, Elrang's up. Never mind. Tend, tend to Gally. I honestly thought we were going to lose everybody. I'm, I'm actually genuinely quite impressed about about the speed of which we've recovered from that. What did you take your trousers off, you weird man? Oh, he swapped them out. My God, look at what this guy's got. Cowboy hat, the dusters, the devil's friend. Is he an elf? He's a human. So he was a slave of the uh, Lamburn Exiles. I know I said I wasn't going to recruit any humans, but a slave of the Lamburn Exiles who just came and saved the lives. I think if any human is going to be recruited, it would be someone who saved the lives of... Of Galley, Elrang, and Chittle. Wow. That was a disastrous raid. I won't lie. We are not prepared for this. Where did that other guy go? He's gone. He got up and walked away. Shit, I was going to go and capture him. Um, yikes. That could not have gone any worse. I think that's a big wake-up call right there. <laughs> Luckily, we had that herbal medicine from where I set everybody yesterday to just harvest whatever plants they could find. Otherwise, we would have been in a slight problem. Um, I think also not lying on the floor anymore would be uh, would just be fantastic. Oh, shit. Do we not have enough leather for a bedroll? What have we got? We've got 290 plain leather. We definitely have enough. Right, okay, plain leather. Uh, put that in there, and then let's go light leather. No, 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 sorry. Plain leather, you fool. <laughs> Me telling myself about, oh, yeah, we've got plenty of plain... No, let's use light leather instead. That's good. And quickly work on a bed. I don't really want them lying in the dirt as they are, like, horribly beaten. Oh, Galley's back up on her feet. Damn. Okay, that was quick. Um, you work on that one, too. We've got to be very careful. We don't end up getting... Oh, Al Ryan, be careful. Um, infections? She's just about to eat a raccoon. I would rather you didn't. Um, we, we should probably go out hunting as well. What the fuck is all this? Malnutrition moderate. Oh my god, the malnutrition's gonna kill us now. Okay, this is unreal. Let's be very careful about how we handle things. Let's harvest all plants. Okay. No. Will they... Actually, I don't know how that works. Will they go out and, like, start harvesting plants on the other side of the map? I assume they would do it in radius to the base, but I don't really know that there would be... No, 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 not wood. Sorry, I'm getting... I'm, I'm tilted now, so I've got to be very careful about how we manage this. Okay, plant cut is set to maximum for everybody. I'm also going to set harvest to maximum to everybody. We need food. Go and get food. Uh, Echidna, can I get you to cut the berry bushes? Gally, go cut the berry bushes. Elrang, what are you doing? Resting? Cut these berry bushes. Is Shittle okay? Does he need feeding? Malnutrition extreme. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't cancel harvesting the berry bush. We need that to live. Eat this food. Eat the food. Okay. And then someone needs to go feed Shittle pretty fast. I'll let them feed themselves first, obviously. Um, come on, Elrang. Get yourself some food. Feed Shittle. Feed Shittle. So, strip. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, is this from earlier? Maybe we've already fed him. Malnutrition extreme. Why can't we feed him? Um, hang on. Let me just sort this out. Why can't we feed Shittle? Does he not eat berries? Is he, is he not hungry? Oh, he's only at 50%. Oh, this must be the malnutrition from earlier still, right? Okay. Um, and Elrang is going to be racist towards Echidna. And we've got a heat wave. Not pulling any punches, huh, game? Um, wow, that's awful because we have no way of gathering ice right now because we don't have the technology to do it. We're going to have to build passive coolers. Do we have passive coolers? We do, thank fuck. Um, let's get a couple of these put down. And by a couple, I mean... I, I, think they, I think as Dimension Returns, right? You can't just fill a room with passive coolers and get the temperature low. I think you have to uh, go for a certain amount. No storage space for what exactly? Wood? What are you talking about? Allow all. Are we good? No rotten, no fresh. Okay, there we are. Okay, let's deal with this heat wave then, first of all. We've got two days before the next raid turns up, so we've got that going for us, which is nice. The man shuttles back. He's back upon his feet. Okay, thank God for that. So consuming berries, that's fine. We should probably also haul them back to the base. We should also start producing some food. 
uh, as in not not just planting food, but I mean like like jerked food uh, that will last a long period of time, so we don't have to keep going out getting berries every couple of days manually. Um, let's go ahead and butcher creature forever. I should probably also store creatures just in there. I mean, there's not really much we can do with that, is there? Um, I also feel like I made a horrible mistake putting the stockpile incredibly far away from the kitchen. We might have to readjust things. Maybe maybe this could be a stockpile, and then we'll move Galley and Aurang's bedroom up to here or something. Um, right, so let's drop it in here, and let's go critical. Clear all, allow, no rotten, thank you. Uh, corpses, any animal corpses are good. And then, no, no, animal corpses, but no insect. And then any food is good as well. And then who's our cook? Shittle's the cook, right? Shittle, get to, get to butcher. Food. Thank you. That's what we got from the raccoon. What's wrong with him? Heat stroke miner. Oh, shit, because he's in the kitchen. Oh, my God, because they didn't actually build any of the fucking passive coolers. Are we out of wood? We've got mountains of wood. What are you people doing? Uh, right, 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 okay. Work. Go. Ca no, cancel that. Just just work on this quickly. Prioritize working. Uh, we need to get shittle somewhere cooler. You think the rain would help cool things down? Um, shittle. Oh, that's sh shittle. Galley rescue shittle. So, so shittle of the brave. Okay. And then Elrang finished that passive cooler. Okay, that's good. Uh, Echidna, can you deliver the other resources to the other passive coolers? So if we increase radius, I was kind of hoping it would include the other one as well, but I'm not sure it has. Anyway, we'll wait and see if that works. Okay, um, this is horrible. This is horrible. We need to start work on research as soon as possible because there are so many just basic conveniences. Beds, for example, that we are missing out on. Uh, Aaron's going to make himself some jerked meats. No trade beacon. Yep, I'm well aware. That's part of the wave-based world, by the way, if you're wondering what that is. So normally with wave-based survival, they will give you resource drop-offs to make up for the difficulty every few days. Uh... I apparently am a glutton for punishment, so we're, we're also missing out on the one thing that's meant to balance wave-based survival. How's it looking now? 38? 37? It's not fantastic, but it is better. And now Rain's gained a new magical skill. Okay. Ray of hope. That's what we need right now. Some more hope. Did that increase his manipulation of moving is now plus 20%. Very nice. Okay. Feed Shittle some dirty, dirty raw meat. Maybe Shittle doesn't care because he's a dirty little goblin. I assume so. Okay. Um, Echidna, let's get this one delivered to as well and just make sure we have a cool room. Prisoners seem to be roasting a little bit. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing I can do about that besides building more passive coolers. And even then, the passive coolers are barely putting a dent in things. Let's very, very, very quickly build some passive coolers. Let's remove the torches for obvious reasons. Um, I mean, it will, it will help temporarily, I guess. I don't think we're going to be able to get this built in time to save these people. Could we... I mean, we could shunt them into... Nowhere. I mean, every room in this fucking base is like 51 degrees. Shit. I think we're going to lose Miyamura. We might be able to keep... Oh, the worst one. Yeah, Keytris. Great. What is that up to? 79%. Actually, we might just be able to get this... We might be able to get this done. Uh, haul as fast as your little legs will carry you. Alright, going to go rest. Nah. We need to work on this passive caller right now. Gally, can you also help? Go. I'm going to get everybody on this. How much wood do they need? 50? My god. Um, and this one also requires... Oh my god, this is unreal. Um, let's go and... Let's take away the torch lamp to start off with them. Let's also remove this one. It won't help much, but it's something, huh? Uh, 46. 46, 45. Uh, she's also dying of malnutrition as well, by the way. Um, we do have plenty of food, though. Do you want to just feed her? Capture her? Okay, capture her and then let's feed her. There we go. And then prioritize food. So if, if prisoners are flopping around on the floor, they don't count as prisoners, which is why they're not being fed. That seems a little unreal. Um, so capture her as well, because, you know, otherwise we won't be able to feed her. How are we looking? 36, 35 degrees. Oh my god, we might have actually saved this person. Through sheer force of will. 97%. Come on. Fucking hell. Go. Come on. I, I will save you. 27. 26. You're fine. What are you talking about? Heat stroke is disappearing. Oh my god, I think I've actually done it. The madman. My god, that's insane. Also, it's now going to be absolutely fucking freezing in here. So I should probably just go ahead and reinstall one of these. Um... Put it in the kitchen. That just makes a lot of sense. Not with the campfire in there, it doesn't, you fool. Um, what's that bedroom like? 40 degrees? That's actually not too terrible. Actually, we managed to cool a lot of the a lot of the base. It was just the campfires and the and the you know multiple torches that we've got. The torches are only there to to light the room up. We don't necessarily need those, especially if it's in their bedrooms while they're sleeping. And the heat wave is over. Okay, now what we have to do is uh shit. <laughs> now we have to put some torches in here so they don't freeze to death. I hate I hate medieval. I hate it. It's so inconvenient. How do people live like this? Okay, let's, um... Let's think. Let's, let's, let's be... Okay, let's put the passive coolers in the stockpile. I think that's a sensible idea. Because that way we can cool meats in the long term. 
So let's go ahead and move that over. Um, actually, no, I said I'd turn this into a stockpile, didn't I? So you know what? That's your bedroom. Or at least it will be by the time we're done with it. Because they that's like a, a pretty big master suite up there, isn't it? So let's get these installed into here. That way it's not also super inconvenient. We'll leave one passive cooler in there. And then I guess a torch lamp to help bring it to an equilibrium. I don't know how that'll work, but we'll give it a go. She's going to lower the priority of bed rest as well, because there is so much to do, so much research, so much everything, that I would quite like to... Uh, how's that? 18 degrees? That's a comfortable... <laughs> Callie built a bed so she could sleep in it. You weird person. Right, okay. That is for Gally and Alrang. Gally, uh, Alrang. And then Shittle gets this bed here. So this one is Shittle. This one I'm going to turn into a, a stockpile instead. So we'll put another door to here for the to the garden. So that's a bit more convenient. You can bring the rice straight up through into there. Um, Kitra started malnutrition. Oh, shit. My bad. Um, doesn't really matter. They were the bad one anyway, so I'm not going to lose any sleep of that. If it had been the other one, I'd have been quite annoyed. But she was kind of garbage. Just get her out of there. That is war crimes. That is war crimes. We just fed the head of the other dead prisoner to our other prisoner who was dying of malnutrition. <laughs> Probably not much meat on her bones. Um, that's really funny, but actually really fucked up. Elrang just ramming her whole head into her mouth. Come on. You're hungry, aren't you? What a moron. It's so awful. This fucking Guantanamo we've built. We've got Alvin Guantanamo, which is another good uh, another good idea for a, for a colony name. Okay, I sent them to go and harvest just about every berry, and they did basically what I thought they were doing, ran into all random points on the map to go and harvest them, but I'm just going to leave that on because food is the biggest concern we've got even now. So, uh, although I'm saying that, we've got the uh, we've got the garden growing. It's 47% growing. Hey, not much longer, and then we never have to worry about this shit again. Also, I get the strange feeling that... Wait, was our wave 4 a heat wave? I mean, a literal wave. I guess it must have been, right? Oh, I bet I know what it was. I bet it was something like um, like a mechanoid attack. And there are no mechanoids in the game. So maybe it maybe it rolled the heat wave instead. Uh, okay, that makes it a little bit easier. Oh, fuck off. Really? You're going to hit us with the plague now? Uh, Shittle. So Shittle has goblin plague. Um, bed rest for you is now maximum. Oh, my God. And he's also our gardener as well. The guy who's going to grow all the food so that we don't fucking die. No, bed rest. Oh, he's going to eat berries. Okay, that's fine. Eat your berries. Fuck off back to bed. Okay, um, Elrang, we need to get you on site to be able to treat this guy basically immediately. Do have we picked up any heal root? I bet we picked up loads, haven't we? Uh, heal root, heal root. There's some. Okay, we're fine. Uh, get into bed, and then let's go ahead and tend to Sir Shittle. What's the... No, no, no. Get some... I was going to say get some medicine. I thought he was going to tend him without that then for a second. Okay. 78%. Hey, that's very good. He also... Oh, everyone else is affected by Ray of Hope. It's AoE. That's quite nice. Um, so blood pumping plus 10%. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing when you've got the plague. Maybe we should just stand Elrang in the rune to help him gain immunity. Um, sure. Blood pumping, metabolism is okay. But it's blood filtration that's immunity though, isn't it? So that probably won't help at all. Right, you get out of here. Very nice though. Good, good start to the tending. I think he'll probably be fine. How long does Ray of Hope last for and it affects everyone whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, it, is it all of our colonists get hit by that that's crazy good um chris and all around the castle that periodically buffs an ally so i guess it's whenever he walks past them it maybe lasts for for a few hours oh that's cool okay uh, and that gives us a lot better than i thought and actually we can get him up to level three as well because apparently he picked up another so that gives 25 percent manipulation and moving that's actually really really good for a small size colony like this jittle needs tending please do not let this man die He's got Ray of Hope 3 and Ray of Hope 4. Oh, right, they stack as well if you accidentally up the skill. Um, or if you up the skill and walk past them. So Elrang's still only affected by Aura of Hope 4. There we are. Um, does he actually not get the bonus? Oh, so Elrang doesn't get it. Everyone else gets it. Right. Okay, interesting. So uh, that explains why he couldn't outrun that other guy when we upgraded it earlier. I was wondering why he was still being caught. Uh, okay, how are we looking? Did you not... I specifically got you up to 10 to him, and then you went and ate some berries and went to bed, you fucking weirdo. Maybe I hit feed? Might have hit feed instead. Um, how are we looking then? 56%, 43% plague spread. I think Sir Shittle will live to fight another day. So we're going to dismantle this steel structure that Arang lit fire to earlier so that we can get it back to the base specifically so we can start building the research bench. All we need is the wood now. So I'll have to, when, they, when they're done getting a load more berries, because it's still going to be a little while before the rice is grown, we'll get them to start chopping down a shitload of wood as well. That way we can start putting down floors, actual furniture, which we'll need, or, or wood that we'll need for furniture when we have done the research for it. So I'd also like to start getting some stone walls. So when the when the garden's grown and a kid has nothing else to do, I'll probably get him on stone cutting. Same with Sir Shittle there. Nice, done. Okay, research then. Very important first step. What do we want to go for? I am honestly 
100% committed to basic furniture. We could go for some of the medieval technologies, uh, the, the medieval technologies that allow us to craft ice to be able to, you know, sort of keep food for longer or corpses or whatever it is we want to keep. All the various different crafting systems, defensive systems. Those would be fantastic, don't get me wrong. But I think a bed should probably come before that. 64% tend. How are we looking? Uh, 69% and 93% immunity. Sir Shittle, brave Sir Shittle, lives to fight on. Plague, he's, he's been, he's had his heart broken by Elrang and Galley's marriage. He had his legs broken by Elvish Raiders, and now he has beaten the Plague too. So Shittle, you deserve your place in this colony, my friend. You have, you have once again proven that you are maybe the best of us. Let's cook some dried berries. I'm going to say forever as well, because that way they'll at least last more than 20 minutes. It might even be more nutrition. Surely it would be less nutrition. Um... Dried berries, nutrition, 0 0.80. Regular berries, nutrition, uh, 0 0.05. Oh, but you have to eat like 500 of them, and this probably uses X amount of berries. How many berries do we put in set? 0 0.5 berries? That can't be right. So that means per 50 berries, we're getting like 25 dried berries that give way more nutrition? Okay. Uh, let's see if it works. So we use 10, and then we get... One out of it. Zero point, sorry, am I misreading 0 0.05? Input ingredients 0. Point, oh, but because it's a small ingredient, maybe you use five times more? I have no idea. Uh, someone can explain to me the math. I, it doesn't matter anyway. That's not the point. The point is, we're going to have a food that lasts longer than 20 minutes. Arang has gained a deeper understanding of magic from sleeping, apparently. Uh, I think he just did something else before he slept there. What have we got? Ray of hope efficiency. Uh, decrease the mana upkeep. I feel like I have to go for that one next. Um, and sort of optimize them a little bit. So, so the mana cost of all abilities down by 2.5% as well. I think we'll go for maximum ray of hope efficiency, then regular focus. So that during those harder waves, when we actually need these abilities more, they'll be more impactful. We'll be able to do more of them. Whereas during this early stage, like I've said, we could beat people to death with a pickaxe and not blink an eye at it. Dittle's cooking and drying foods job was cancelled because he's malnourished. Okay, um, at least he's committed to his... Can he not eat dried berries? He, he the dried... Oh, shit. I completely missed that one. Um, oh, my God. They could be anywhere on the map right now. Oh, shit. Um, so the enemies are Moon Elves from the Kingdom of Lamburn. There they are. Our mortal enemies. Um... Either of them are okay. A nice backup dot there. This person's got good skills all around, except artistic and animals are kind of useless. Um, they're both okay. They both make for okay recruits to our to our peasantry. Let's run everyone home very quickly and shit. Um, besides Shittle, who needs to eat desperately because he was too busy cooking to eat food so much that he almost died. So just just hashtag Shittle things. There we go. Um, we good now? Nutrition trivial. Nice. Okay, let's get everybody lined up. Echidna, you don't have a weapon. Oh, he's got a. He's, it's okay. He's got a pickaxe. We're just gonna bludgeon him to death. Okay, lineup squad. This time I have a I have a better feeling about this. We need to give everybody bows and arrows as well. That's speaking of which. Uh sorry about that loadout. You're not gonna Hmm. We seem to have uh seem to have lost some gear there. Okay. Longbow uses great arrows. Where are you bows and arrows, you weirdos? Um Right, that's new and interesting. Uh we seem to have lost our bows and arrows. <laughs> I have no idea where they could be. Yeah, no, we actually just don't have any. All right, then. Um, in that case, Galley, get the sword. Um, where are the clubs as well? We, we've lost everything. It's like we've been robbed. Shittle? Uh, what about dual wield axes with the Shittle? I feel like I can make him fearsome. It's the dual wield mod that lets you dual wield weapons, right? Which we don't have because I think Combat Extended doesn't play nice with it. If it works, that would be awesome to sh see Sir Shittle the Berserker with his two axes. Right, here they are. Um... It kind of snuck up on us there, huh? Um, let's get stuck in. Just just kill him dead. We'll let those guys take out this person. And then when the other one turns up... Shittle, how are you... What is wrong with our people? How are you already down? Sad one to Miyamura. Oh my god, I thought it was one of our people there. What's the other one? This one we're going to hit with a fireball when he turns up. Come on. This is actually embarrassing. It's 3v1 and we've barely done any damage. Galley Drill. Why have you got... What's she putting a sword away? She's putting a sword away. We putting your sword away for? Uh, don't do that. Why are you putting your sword away? <laughs> oh no, she put it. Oh, it's because she was parried. I have no idea. I need to check the old switch settings anyway. It doesn't matter too much for the time being. Right, fire claw. Ooh, okay, an okay hit, not fantastic. You go get your wooden axe, and then let's get you stuck in as well. Let's deal with this one first before the other one turns up. Yeah, they're unequipping their weapons. Why are you doing that? Maybe it is where they're being parried, and they're not, like, automatically re-equipping them. Ah, there we go. Yeah, they were they were trying to auto-switch because they 
Thought that using their fists would be better? I have no idea what caused that. Oh, and now we're winning. What a shocker. Oh my god, I can't believe that it was as simple as that. They were just auto-switching their weapons out. My god, we look a little, I look a little bit cool like that. She's giving L rang a haircut. Get out of here. Um, wow. Let's get Shittle rescued. Poor Shittle. Honestly, he's just having a terrible day. You capture that one. You capture that one. Oh, we need another prison bed. Hey, that could be some, uh, it could be a nice amount of recruits we get from this when we actually build this into not just a wooden box with some mark, we put, like chalk marks on the floor for them to sleep on. My God. Okay. Wow. What a haul. Well done, team. Rice. Glory be. Oh my god, that's so good. We've actually got food coming into the base. Okay. Um, also with this then, I, I was going to say we'll build an actual fueled stove, but I don't think we can right now. Let's go do forever, but then we'll set the ingredients range like here. That way Shittle will always cook. Oh, do we, we don't want to cook everything in meals though, do they? Because we can't store it. Um, at least not yet. So why don't we go for... Cook simple meal. Do until one per colonist. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, plus X. So we'll say four meals per colonist. I think that's how that works, isn't it? Um, yeah, one per colonist plus... Oh, no, no. One per colonist plus three. So four per colonist, right? So let's drop that to the top there. Uh, that way he'll prioritize it over the jerk meat and the berries. That way we've got meals. And then if we need the long-term food, we've still got that being produced as well. But then thank you all for watching. Not a huge amount of progress on the building front. I mean, we've got the structure down tomorrow. We're going to obviously put in the floors and whatnot and then eventually replace it with stone as well. But we got Echidna, the new recruit, which is definitely, definitely what I was trying to do earlier when I got everybody almost killed. Definitely just wanted free recruit. More importantly, we've got three more people that we're potentially going to be able to recruit as well, except they're all dying. Don't worry about that. Look, that's, that's tomorrow's issue. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Big shout out to the insane top tier level patrons. By the way, if, if people want to start preparing and sending me elven names, because we've got a lot of recruits very quickly, I will, uh, I'll get those all added into, there's a cool mod as well that lets you actually put the name straight into, I think I briefly talked about it, straight into the game, so they'll turn up as raiders and whatever else, because they've taken that away from Rimod now, which is very sad. Thank you to Alchemia, Anthony Gulli, Sunan Kurato, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Balik Strombo, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Krosis, Chris, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogola, Sarik, Harry McGowan, Huey Longdong, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jedediah Bird, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kane and Carter, Limpy George, Michael Mullen, Nordstrus, Necrofilin, Odie, Pelvis Presley, Paul, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Slipping It, Somna, Shea, The One Ring, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuus Bacchus, Varagon, Vlad Radin, and William Green for their support at the Insane Tier levels on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. I can't believe that list is as long as the old, the other lists used to be like a few months ago. So that's absolutely bizarre. Thank you. And a thank you as well goes out to Ubu Daddy, Asro, Adam Person, Adrian Ellison, Alex Bogart, Aiden M, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Artem, Ash. Astro, Attila, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Blood for the Blood God, Brittany Lee, Buen Gun, Castillo J, Chris, Corgi Circus, Cogzel, Dapago, Derek, Don, Dove, Dunk Honey Two Seven, Dylan, Emerald Beam, Fush, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, I'm Sagatair, I see the Great. Irotha, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jibus Crust, Joran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jill's lucky sister, Jilly Bondle, Joseph Beer, Justin Rules, Justin Plot, and my list is now so long it no longer fits on my monitor. Um, what do I do about this, Windows? <laughs> uh, hang on. Justin Walters. There we go. Kevin Saunders, Kane GB, Lepus, Layla, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosich, Marek Thrandraug, Martin, Mastolp, Monty, Mostly Samson, Munda Difflin, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Olivia Kaiser, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panthapel, Peyton Dedesar, Kamar Ishmael, Right Ace, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sam Kier, Scap, Shardle, Silkworm, Smurtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Superdanny089, Sweet C, Talar, Tioma, Tony Laban, Trash Bin, Volta, Voodoo Mumbo, Boy Prince Kibo, Wesley C, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Yellow Four, Yorkers, Zach, and Zetlock 2C guys all tomorrow for elf magic.